How's it going everyone? Back with another Enchanter video. Yes, I'm a gnome because I have illusions up because there is a mini NPC who rolls through here who does not like um, the Dark Elves. So, I am still in Quenos. I am a level 16. Um, I'm actually not leveling here currently. I'm in Guck, so I'm going to make a video showing that, but I wanted to show you how amazing Quenos it Kinos, Quenos, whatever, um, is. It, there are so many quests here that uh, I didn't know about. And I'm going to show you the route that I run for c collecting lightstones, the null fangs, and um, a few of the other items for the other quests. So I run the same route uh, every single time. And yes, you're going to notice that I'm a dark elf. Originally, my first video was a light elf, but I just, or high elf, whatever they're called, but high elves are ugly and I really wanted hide for the dark elf. I lose quite a bit of charisma, but um, charisma is something I can make up with gear and hide you cannot. And the hide is not so much for breaking charms for me, it's for going AFK because I like to go AFK but um, quite a bit, and it's nice to pop a hide and go AFK. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, the route, and I got a tremendous amount of light stones and greater light stones off of that, or I'm um, off this route, and there's a wisp right there. But I'll show you the route. And yes, I have Sal on, so yeah. Um, I go over this way first, and usually there's a wisp that's over here um that that might have been it uh that passed over but usually i'll find one here and once you start killing them um you'll you'll get them on like lockdown and after i kill the one that's over here i'll go i run over to here and every once in a while you will see one as i'm coming this way he's passing them in through here so I come up over this way. If you're a dark elf, um, have an illusion up, which since I've done all these quests, like everyone loves me, <laughs> um, except for the, this one NPC and she does not like me at all. She's a meanie. Um, usually I'll see one over here. And of course um, it's not here when I'm making a video when it is every other time. Uh, in this area, um, right down here, the putrid skeleton spawns right here by this tree. It's on a six minute timer. It, it drops a putrid rib bone and that you can turn in for massive experience. And there's an NPC who runs through here. His name is Nicholas something. You'll, you, you, you'll have to look it up. But you, you turn it into him and then he gives you a pouch and then you go back to Quanos and you turn into the pouch to the High Priestess lady. You also look up the quest and it gives massive experience at level eight. Like I I think it was almost a full freaking bubble of experience per pouch um, uh, when, I, when like I was level eight. Um, and you're gonna wanna be checking the wolves and the bears as you come through here and look for the putrid wolf and the putrid bear when you get up to a certain level because you can kill them they always drop a a hide that is extremely good experience and here's our light or here's our wisp right here so yeah so you have a wisp here um i couldn't start killing wisps until nine so i pretty much on this putrid skeleton who's here and he passed around here uh he's really easy to find but when you kill him you set a timer at six minutes and you kill him every single time the putrid rib bones are um not lore but the pouch when you turn in is so that's kind of a bummer you can like collect a bunch of ribs if you want and turn them in and and delete the pouches that you get them or you turn in a rib get a pouch and freaking run all the way back and turn in and I think it's worth it I, I totally think it's worth it um, but um, using this right here 
and staying in this general area looking for the rabid wolves and there is also orcs who come um is this them right here are that you i can't freaking target anything what is going on here yeah so here he is so if you kill a putrid skeleton then he will pop down there every six minutes and the the putrid rib bone is not a guaranteed drop but it it drops a lot um so make sure you work him and, and as i was saying there are roaming gnolls who come through here kill them too so in this little spot right here i went from eight to nine extremely fast and the nine is when i started killing wisp and showing you the route so at gray wolf so i'm you're going to want to be always checking the wolves because the putrid wolf or the rabid wolf or whatever his name is um, he passed through here and then you come up over this hill and there should be a another wisp in here right here so there is wisp number what is that four and then after you kill him you're gonna roll around and you run this way and right up over the hill is a another wisp um so when when you're making these rounds you can just run this over and over and over and i've turned in quite a bit of light stones uh, i went from nine to 15 <laughs> of off doing this route just running it over and over again um hitting the putrid skeleton killing the wolves um all roaming gnolls that you you see kill them for uh, fangs um yeah, and like I leveled extremely fast. That's I love it over here. If I make any new tunes, I'm coming over here for, for sure. But um, this will probably be a shorter video, and then here's our other one. And um, now they are tough to kill at nine, um, the wisps. And I'm gonna tell you how you do it. So you're gonna want to get a max pet, and don't give a pet. Um, any weapons because they won't be able to hit West when you naturally cast them they have a freaking magical weapons because they're awesome like that they're all, I, I love these pets they're so freaking awesome but anyways you're gonna want to get out um, the level 8 dot I don't remember what it is, is it shallow breath no oh you know what I I think I already put it at the end of my book yeah, I think it's Suffocating Spear. It's one of these. Man, I don't remember which one it is. I thought it was one that you get a level 8. Is it Choke? Anyways, um, it's not Shallow Breath. So it is the level 4 one that I have all the way back on page 50. It's just, uh, I try to keep my freaking thing like unorganized. So anyways, what you do is you hit it with this dot and you strafe kite and your pet okay hit it with a dot you you let it hit you your pet is going to start attacking it then strafe kite until your pet grabs aggro and then sit down and keep it dotted and as soon as your pet gets down to about 30% or so, hit it with your level 8 nuke, which then is going to pull aggro off your pet, or your pet's going to die, and then it'll be on you. And then strafe kite it while your pet stabs it in the back over and over again. So that's how I killed it. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it works really good. So dot it, um, have your pet get aggro. Um, uh, as soon as it gets aggro, you're 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 gonna keep it dotted. As soon as it wears off, uh, always keep it dotted. When when your pet gets down to about thirty percent health or so, you're gonna do a big nuke, which will pull aggro off your pet onto you. Strafe kite till it's dead, and then when you hit twelve, it's all downhill from there. Then you can just tear wisp apart. And then I come back over here. As you can see, it is up. Um, and I just make this circle over and over again and always going back when the putrid skeleton pops because it's extremely good um, experience like those putrid rib bones and for a while I was just erasing 
the pouches because I'm like, oh, I don't want to run all the way over there. But then I actually turned one in and it was like a full bubble of level eight. <laughs> so after that, I didn't, um, I would do that. I would just, uh, I'd kill a putrid skeleton a bunch of times to get like five or six saved. And then I would find the NPC and he actually roams right through here. I think he makes a circle around the like whole zone and he just goes in a circle. So um, he actually comes through here and see, as you can see, the Null Scouts roll through here too. So kill everything, you get fangs, putrid rib bones, you get the putrid hide or the rabid grizzly hides and all that and rabid wolf hides and you get the light stones as well. And you're gonna make, no, it's not, that's not him. Um, you're going to make a lot of money off of the Lightstone quest. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see him up. He comes through here, you, you'll kill him all the time. And again, the Putrid Skeleton pops right here, and he's on a six minute timer. So it's just awesome. And you run back up, and I just made this route over and over again. Obviously, I didn't have Sal. So by the time you kill everything, um, the wisp on the other side will be repopping because it, you know it takes a long time at level eight to kill a wisp. But um, yeah, so I wanted to show this to you guys. I did go in the black burrow because this was just too sweet and the money was fantastic. Um, yeah, as you can see, I got a quite a bit more money now. Uh, shout out to. Cool. when I was going through OOT, he gave me like 40 or 50 plat or whatever. But um, yeah, so again, as you're running around, kill all gnolls because they, they do drop things. And then you're rolling, doing like freaking five quests at a time and just you'll, you'll, you'll level extremely fast. And if you are a dark elf, be sure to have an illusion up because people do not like you. I'm gonna see if that dude is up the guy who you turn into well he's always up it's just he passed around see and then there's this one and then you just do it over and over again and when usually um when i would get a full bag of greater light stones so buy a bunch of backpacks and get ready because you're going to load up with like a, a bunch of light stones and the greater light stones were a little more rare but um, you know there are times where RNG craps on you and you don't get anything for for like six wisps. But still, killing them is a really good experience. Um, I was gonna see. He comes over here too. He pass over here. I think his name is Nicholas. Hey, there's another one. Uh, I don't know where he's at. But yeah, he essentially he walks in circles around the whole zone. You can look it up. Super easy. Um, the wisps are a little hard at nine, so you do have to be careful and you learn how to strafe kite. Um, if you don't know how to strafe kite, um, my left and right arrow keys are strafe. Uh, I don't use turn, I use my mouse to turn. So pretty much all you do is press forward and then just strafe, <laughs> and that's it. And um, when you get good at it, you can kite stuff around with no sow, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Um, oh, one other hint, what, when, when I re-rolled, your level one pet that you get, get a max pet, so cast it a few times, I believe it'll be a jello. Kill this king skeleton that has like a two-handed rusty halberd or sword or whatever. Give that to your pet and watch it bash the crap out of stuff for like, for, I, 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 I was hitting for like 19 or 20 and I just rolled through the newbie area, just blasted through it, two shot and stuff um, with that thing. So, and I, I, I didn't know that at first. So then I'm like, I didn't even know Enchanter for, for pets even took, um, took any weapons. The charmed ones I know, but um, yeah. So give it a rusty two-handed. It's got to be a two-handed, and you'll see it. It was doing more damage than my freaking ranger. <laughs> oh, but oh, uh, I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss this place. I had so much fun out here because I learned all the different quests, and I had this 
freaking crazy route, and I just ran around this over and over and killed gnolls, all the putrid skeletons, wisps, and my I leveled extremely fast and made a lot. Well, not a lot, but you know, it's a good amount of plat. But um, and also you're gonna want to kill all the gray wolves um, who are passing through here because some of them are placeholders for the r rabid wolf or whatever. And the rabid grizzly, he does pass through here, um, but I don't see him much. Um, he's more over by Blackboro entrance, and when I do run over there and try to find him, I can't find him. The only time I ever see him is when I don't want to see him, and I'm sitting down, and he eats me. <laughs> uh, oh, is this him right here? All right, here he is right here. So here is the NPC that you turn in the putrid rib bones, and then he gives you a pallet, and you go into North Quenos, and you turn it in to the priestess lady in there. And I am, like, loved <laughs> in all of Quenos, so everybody, they just love me. So uh, it's pretty nice to have good faction. I don't know about everybody, but but like all the guards, um, they con warmly to me or whatever. But um, uh, the reason why I'm over here for is I'm doing a quest for the Stein of Olga, or the Stein. It's a plus intelligent Stein. It costs about 250 plat if you buy it off the market, and I don't have that. Well, I do, but I don't want to spend that much money, so I'm actually doing the quest. And I'm not here to get a fish, which I already got. Now I gotta go over to Uridin and turn in something. And then after Uridin, I have to go back to Freeport, turn in something there, and then run all the way to the, the troll town. Is it Olguk or I don't remember. Yeah, and then I will get that item, and it's a nice item. And when I eventually get a better item, I'll be able to sell it and make 200 plat. Yeah, but I just wanna show you where I'm at. Um, well, I'm not here no more, but it's where I went. Nobody farms like um, wisps out here either. Uh, I went into North Karana and they're just heavily camped. There's people running all over the place. They freaking Bards, you'll see these bards with like 10 wisps behind them as they're trying to freaking swarm kite them. So out here, I rarely see anybody who is killing wisps. So it is a fantastic place to come out here and farm them. Um, I, and as I said, at 9, it's a little rough, but you, you, you can do it. And then 12, it's a piece of cake after 12. And then after 15, the XP dries up. I mean, you, you can totally do it up to 16, but... Uh, at 15, I went into Guck, and I'm going to show you guys that soon. Um, and again, at 15 in Guck, where I'm at, it was freaking tough. But I got all my 16 spells. The only spell I have to get now is Breeze, which I absolutely want, but it's all the way in freaking Freona Vey. So after I get my 10-inch main hand weapon, I am going to run all the way out there, so it'll be a while. But um, yeah, awesome though. I enjoyed it out here. I really liked it. And sorry for the people who are looking forward to me going into Blackboro, but that little route that I did was, was just too good. Like, I was like, no, I'm getting way more experience and I'm making some fat plat off of it. But um, I'll show you the guards. Hey, Walt. Oh, oh my God, Walt fell down. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I conned the guards without this see like this guy see he's warmly and when i first got here he was he was like threatening yeah check that out warmly so you will max out all the guard faction uh, all the vendors love me here which is pretty decent but yeah um and my hide uh, of course, it didn't work. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it is extremely handy if you're down somewhere and you need to go AFK and you can hide. So um, if anybody hasn't seen it, you have to con something to, to, to see if it cons indifferent. So now he's indifferent, so I have successfully hidden. But anyways, guys, I'll quit blabbing. I'm going to get this done, get back in the gut because I'm having a blast in gut. Um, but y'all, 
All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Mike. Be oh, 20 minutes. I blabbed for long enough. All right, guys. Hope y'all having a good weekend. Peace.